Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, as your exams are round the corner, and you know we have already completed board booster series for section A, and you know section A contains total ten marks in your semester two exams. And today I am here with our marks enhancer series for section B. Yes, children. Why I have written the name as marks enhancer series because. in section b you have to attempt total four questions and each question will be of 10 marks so out of 50 40 marks question are there for section b right children so in part 1 today i have taken the topic aries now children before starting this let me tell you that you don't have nested for loop in your syllabus so please don't try to attempt any question using nested for loop right the second thing is you don't have double dimensional array also in your syllabus only single dimensional arrays are there in semester 2 syllabus right now as far as scope of syllabus is concerned basically you should know how to input the elements in array how to access those array elements and how to do the calculations and definitely printing the values right this much is there in your syllabus now as per the specimen question paper at least two questions you have to attempt from this topic and i would prefer you to attempt arrays questions rather than string handling programs because this is going to be more easy than string handling right there are many videos present on the channel for the topic arrays the necessary videos which you actually require for the preparation of semester 2 exams i'll be putting the link of all those videos in the description box of this video please do check it is my request to all of you please do check those videos and prepare the arrays topic properly right now in this video i am giving a checklist along with the brief explanation of the questions which you need to prepare treat this as the checklist note it down do the programs and wherever you find any difficulty or you want me to do any program i'll be doing that program on the board and making the video right because many videos are already there and as per your syllabus i feel like that those videos are sufficient in programming basically once you know the concept once you know the logic once you know the syntax there should not be any problem in doing the programs right so we start with the questions which you need to practice children please take out your notebook pen and note down these questions pause the video every time i am changing the screen please note down the question and it is your duty to do all those questions carefully in case of any doubt please do comment in the comment section right children we move on to the first question which you need to prepare linear search in the array of the following data types you need to prepare linear search for int char float double children here i have not taken the string array the next video which i will be making will be totally on string arrays questions only right now linear search already a video is there in which we have done three types of programs for linear search here also i have mentioned that you have to check whether the element is present or not whether the search is successful or not and if the search is successful display its index number and position and sometimes the question can be there you have to print the frequency of the searched item in the given array right children we move on to the next question which you need to prepare is binary search binary search you need to prepare for int float double data types and for this simple you have to check whether the search is successful or not and if the search is successful display the index number and position children always in binary search the array should be in sorted order that is the primary condition of binary search the array should be sorted in ascending or descending order right children now the third type of question which you need to prepare is sum or average maybe sum and average or maybe sum of the elements or maybe the average of the elements 
present in the given array. The data types which you need to practice for this type of questions are INT, float, and double, right children? The next type of question which you need to prepare is like this. To find the square of all the elements present in the array and store it in another array. Display both the arrays in tabular form. Here I have written the sample input also and the sample output. Enter size of the array. Suppose the user enters 3. Input array elements, user is entering 4, 3, 2. The sample output should be entered array 4, 3, 2. And the squared array is 16, 9 and 4. Yes, children, you need to print the array elements in tabular form along with the entered array. Yes, children, you need to prepare these type of questions carefully. Right, children? Next, we move on to sum of odd and even elements of the array. Maybe only the even elements, maybe only the odd, maybe even and odd both elements, right? Please prepare it for INT data type, right, children? Next is sum of the elements present at odd even subscript and the data types which you need to prepare int float double children in the previous question we did sum of odd even elements and here it is present at odd even subscript let me give you the example if the array elements are like this 0 1 2 3 4 suppose these are the subscripts and you have the array elements 5 6 3 9 and 8 all right now, in the previous one, where odd and even elements are there, then in that case, 6 and 8 will be taken as even. 5, 3, 9 will be taken as odd. But in this question, where it is odd and even subscript, that means values present at 1 and 3 will be considered for odd subscript. 0 to 4 will be considered for even subscript. Children, there is a difference between odd even subscripts and odd even elements. Elements means the values which are present in the array. And subscripts are the index number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So please do take care of that, right? Here you have to check for the index number whether they are even or not and in the previous question you need to check whether the element is even or odd right children now the seventh type of question which you need to prepare is to input 20 integers in an array the size can vary it can be 10 it can be 50 right place all the even elements in array even and odd elements in array odd very important question children, right? So please prepare these type of questions and do comment in the comment section if any question you are doing not able to do. I'll be making the videos on those questions, right children? Next is minimum and maximum element of the array. The smallest and the biggest element present in the array. And this you need to prepare for INT, float and double data types. Right children? Next we move on to the type of question for merging. Merging two single dimensional arrays into another array. Let me give you one example. If array A contains the element 2, 3, 4 and array B contains the element say 1, 3, 9, then you need to merge these arrays in array C which contain 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 9. Children, please try doing this. Two arrays you have to input from the user. Third array you have to do the processing. You have to access those array elements of A and B and make third array. So you have to prepare this merging also for these data types. It can be character array, double type, float type and INT type. Right children? The next question. Count number of positive, negative and zeros in the entered array. How many values when you are entering? Say if here it is minus 3, 3, 0, 14, minus 2, 9. So like this, if the array elements are there, you have to 
print the count of positive elements like in this we have one two and three then you have negative elements how many are there here you have two and zeros how many are there one zero so like this also you need to prepare basically what we are doing we are just accessing those array elements access the element and do the calculation as desired as per the question right children the next type of question this is the question from character array display the vowels present in the character array definitely you have to input the elements in the character array then count the number of vowels present in the array count the number of letters or digits in the array count the number of consonants in the given array so children these are few important questions very very important questions i must say which you need to practice children here i want to tell you one more thing that in many model test papers many question banks you will get the questions which are out of your scope of syllabus so my advice to you is to check your board syllabus the reduced syllabus the bifurcated syllabus for semester 2 and prepare the topics as per the requirement don't do everything right now definitely you may want to do something extra but that extra thing can be done after the exams right now your focus should be your board exams and i know you have so many subjects to prepare so i think i am doing my bit to help you in this particular subject of computer applications right children the second video I'll be doing for string arrays, the questions which you need to prepare for string arrays. And definitely any doubt in any program, please do comment. I'll definitely try to make the videos on that, right? So my best wishes are with each one of you for your practice. And of course, if you haven't subscribed the channel till now, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our Telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard, keep solving the programs. God bless you children.